This house has great design, great craftsmanship. I love almost everything about it. Actually, practically everything about it. But I do have one problem that I really, really hate. And you're going to have to find out till the end of the video to know what that is. But otherwise, this home would be perfect for you. I adore the facade of this townhouse. So from the road, you have a short driveway leading up to your carport. Now it, ha it has a bit of an incline and I love how you have concrete uh, blocks over here as your flooring. And in between, you have actual grass. Okay, so now your vehicle gate over here has vertical steel bars. This is still part of the gate. This is going to swing open, but this is your pedestrian door or gate with a full wood texture. Although this is actually made of wood, but I know they enhanced this one. I wonder how they did that. Hmm. I am curious. I feel like I want to do that for myself. <laughs> okay, so over here you have the uh, carport itself. You can fit two vehicles. Most of the walls are in this matte black textured surface. And then over here, you have, it's still concrete, but it has a pattern, geometric pattern in light gray. And then on this side, oh, also, by the way, the ceiling, very well lit. So you have cove lighting, you have pin lights or down lights, and then you have a textured ceiling that looks like wood. Is this? It's PVC. Oh, it's tiles, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And then over here, you have this little nook, somewhere you can just hang out, actually. You can have some seating over there. And I love the view. You can't see it, but you have a tree in front of this house, and it looks so nice. And then when you look over here, you have the main entrance. So you have a solid wooden door with a digital door lock. And hello. Hi, Julia. <laughs> I'm so effective. Hi, Faye. Hello, guys. This is Faye. <laughs> Welcome to our new duplex property here in Las Piñas. Okay, thank you for letting us know where we are and what kind of house is this. Okay, so it's just a, a brief run. It's a modern contemporary. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's so chic. It is very chic from the Super. front. So I can tell even from standing here, na gana na nga. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you later what your favorite part of this house is, but that's at the end of the video, so I'll see you later. Okay. Enjoy. So you guys will see Faye again later. <laughs> Okay, so as you enter, you have this living area and the first thing that you will see is this accent wall. So you have, so it, obviously this is a laminate, but you have marble-like textures over here and then over here. This is like fabric. It's still a laminate of some sort, but it looks like fabric in the pink hue and then mirrors. But this is generally your accent piece or accent wall rather. And then on the other side, this is where your TV will go. It can either sit here, you can mount it, it's up to you. And then you have storage all around in a brown, glossy laminate. Yeah. Huh? Bubok sang. Yeah. Ito bubok sang ko? Yeah. Tata. Tata. Yeah. Tata. Okay. Ah. Okay, so you do have storage over there. What do you... Harder. Malamang, hindi both sides, di ba? Harder. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, that's, that's cool. So you have some storage under here. No, wala pang, ah, may ilaw, pero may so you have storage here, it, uh, it goes under the stairs, and then some over here. I can actually still stand in this portion. And then your electrical panel is right there. No wonder, it's not just this cabinet, it's an actual door. That is that is clean, wait long. Ah, it's over there. All right, that's cool. <laughs> and then over here you have your uh, dining area. It is a really bright chandelier, very modern and sleek, just like the rest of the chandeliers or accent lighting pieces that you'll see throughout this home. So you can comfortably fit a six-seater table here, 
rectangular one or a bigger uh, four C. Parang weird pala pakinggan na, no? A bigger four square seater <laughs> dining set. Before we head there, let's check this one out first. So this is your kitchen. You have a U-shaped layout. You have a solid surface over here. Your built-in sink. Lots of storage all around. Right, so this one goes away. Subway tiles as your backsplash. You have your outlets already installed. And then, wala pa yung stove. So that's a tube. Wasan mong sa ilagay. But I love the fact that you have the provision for the refrigerator here. That means you have the perfect triangle for your kitchen setup. Okay, now we can go out here. So we have a sort of backyard. Ang ganda. What is this? Wait. What? Wild. Nakatago yung ano. Sorry. <laughs> Nakat ah. Nakatago yung ano niya. Uh, what do you call this? Laundry. <laughs> I love it. So this is where your washing machine will go. You already have your built-in sink over here. It's also the window for your uh, staff. It looks like a staff works or storage room. And you already have the complete provisions for here. You even have a pin light and an exhaust. I mean, it's just the regular slats that you build. Okay, wait. Malay. <laughs> Malay. <laughs> what is that? So you have to. Okay. Definitely would have been a lot easier if it didn't rain. But I'm lang kasi ako. This wouldn't have been a problem. Because I just don't want to mess up the. Oops. I just don't want to mess up the home. Thank you for telling me that that was a sink. I was like, what? <laughs> and then right here. Yeah, you do have these staff quarters. So you still have high ceiling. You have a jalousy window over here that you can open up for ventilation. And then you have a long sweet toilet and bath over there, which was the window that we saw earlier from the hidden laundry. Uh, sink that is so cute i really like that idea and of course you have that garden over here you still have the black walls and lots of sunlight coming through that is unique i haven't seen that yet until now not yet i just saw it until now <laughs> okay and then a few steps up oh by the way you have a window over here it's fixed and then you have uh an awning window in the bottom for ventilation Ooh, so you have over here a guest powder room. So you have your toilet, and obviously this follows the shape of the stairs, right? But you have cold lighting here to illuminate the entire room, and it is beautiful. This tile, it looks like a blue marble with gold accents, and that's exactly what they intended for it, because even your bidet is gold. Excuse me. And then the accents. <laughs> and so the accents over here are the same. So you have gold framed uh, mirror, you have gold pendant lamp, and then the little sink, which is perfect for the space. And you should matama dun sa pinto. Also has a gold faucet, as well as a. Uh... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so before I head up though, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscilla underscore official. If you want to see more townhouses or duplexes like this one, again, this is in Las Piñas, make sure you contact our hotline or go to our website at www.precello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Precello. Okay, so the storage or the entertainment shelf that we saw earlier where the TV goes acts as a sort of... Um, Shelf also on this side for some plants, picture frames. It's up to you what you want to put in here. Mm, if I were to personally design this area though, I'd probably put a potted plant, maybe a nice figurine that's very minimalist or modern, and uh, maybe a few art pieces. I think I'd like that in this area. Okay. Oh. So you have a tiled staircase, very practical, easy to clean. But what's striking to me about this area is how high the ceiling is and how 
sloped. It is, you know, it has four down lights, but those are pretty strong. They're actually quite large. And then you have a clerestory window up there. It's already sundown, basically, although it is a cloudy day. It's very rainy. So, makulimlim. But I can imagine the sunlight going through that and illuminating this area without you even needing to turn on those down lights. So, I love this area. And you only really have the stairs, an L shaped area where you can walk towards the one, two, three, four doors. Okay, now let's go through this one. Very flush door. When I say flush, I mean flat. But you do have these accents. So, these are just color accents to make it interesting. And here we have bedroom number one. Ceiling height. I think this is slightly higher. <laughs> Not bad at all. I believe this is slightly higher than standard, but very close to it. You again have down light or pin light, sorry. Pin lights. And then this is meant to cover your curtain rails. So when you install curtain rails here, it's going to hide it. It's going to look seamless and very, very neat. Now this room has access to the balcony at the front of the property via this sliding glass door. So you have this area that's just glass. Look how minimalist this is. And then in this area, you have the vertical slats and these are metal. You also have a vertical garden over here. It looks very pretty. And yeah, you can probably put a nice chair over here. You have a bit of privacy while you hang out in your uh, balcony and just look over your neighborhood. <laughs> and then, oh, and you have your built-in wardrobe over here, floor to ceiling, so, you, so no dust settles at the top. That's okay. Very straightforward. <laughs> okay, ooh. Okay. This is the common toilet and bath, and they have to separate it from the other doors. Obviously, the door itself is different. You have glass in the center, but it's frozen, so you don't need to worry about privacy. At least you know someone's inside without actually seeing through. Okay, so you have your sink. You still have some counter space over there on the right. You have your toilet over here, and then your enclosed shower space in this area. Ceiling is slightly higher. You do have cold lighting as well as pin lights. And what I noticed is that you have heated a heated towel rack so obviously you do have to plug this in but that's cool at least you have your towel nice and toasty when you get out of the shower of course these are also storage so the entire wall i'm gonna guess this is also gonna be storage i might be wrong oh I'm, i was mistaken it's only storage at least there on the back i'm not going Okay, so over here, I'm gonna assume we have bedroom number two. And yes, we do. So you have your built-in storage over here. When you enter, the ceiling is lower. It's more cozy. I actually like how that feels when it comes to bedrooms. And then over here, it opens up. You have the higher ceiling height. So you have this much space. You have outlets all around. So it's up to you how you want to configure this room. It looks so pleasant to the eyes. I love the diffused matte white off-white walls and then the very pale brown flooring it's so zen looking then you have your window set up over here of course again with the view of those beautiful trees as well as a garden here below so you do have to maintain that to make sure that your facade looks nice as well as your view from inside this room and you still have that area for your curtains to make it look nice and neat See what I mean? So nice. I mean, you saw that earlier probably when I came up. But... <laughs> okay, and now over here we have the third bedroom, aka the master bedroom. So you have this much space, so this time you have cove lighting and down lights. It's a little bit more um, complex than the rest or than the other two rooms, but it's still very simple and very straightforward and i love that visually it's just very clean and serene as i like to say as i've been saying the entire video again you have the ones for the curtains you can actually extend the curtains all the way to the end if you want just to make that illusion 
Because no one's going to know it. Because they're going to They're going to think the entire wall is made out of windows. But th this is your actual windows. You have a view of your garden downstairs. So that wall is obviously not finished. And it is your neighbor's wall. Pero, hmm, magagalit kaya sila if you ask for permission. Pero ba namin pinturahan yan? They might agree. I mean, you're doing... It's up to you. And then you can see your tank <laughs> over there as well. Nakita ko na naman yung nakatagong sink. And then over here, you have your own suite. Toilet and bath. So on this side, very, very clean looking. In fact, you don't see any handrails whatsoever. So you have to push to open. You have your built-in wardrobe. So are they, do they all look the same? Hold on, I'm just curious. Okay, so these are shelves and drawers. These are hanging rods. So they made it, uh huh. These are still hanging rods. It's very deep. It goes that way. Oh, here. Here's the mechanism that enables you to close and open the cabinetry. And then on this side, you have his and hers sinks. Nice counter space. You have backlighting over there to help illuminate your face. You're, you have mirrors in front of the sink, but this middle portion... Ah! <laughs> so these do act as um, cab uh, medicine cabinets. But there's an outlet in the So I guess if you want to charge the electrical... All of them rechargeable, no? including the razors, the hair iron, and what have you. Oh, so they both open. Okay. But the middle portion, it's still very reflective. So it kind of acts like a mirror. And then the medicine cabinet. When I say... I mean, the rest of the story in Japan. Ah, you saw it. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, you have the throne over here, the toilet, and then the enclosed shower space. It's a little bit higher. Again, you have cold lighting, down lights, sorry, pin lights, and then on the windows over there, a shelf for your, or a nook for your products. And I love how there's this. So that prevents the water from spilling to the rest of the bathroom. I love it. And again, you have the heated towel racks. <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm going to get out of Boom! Cameraman! <laughs> okay, so we've gone through the entire house. Ah, oh, look at how nice this is! So while I admire it, you may also admire it by watching these beautiful B-rolls. And I'll see Faye. We will see Faye later. Not, you have 110 square meters of lot area and then 194 square meters of floor area split between two levels. You have three bedrooms, three toilet and baths, and a two vehicle car park out in the front. And maganda doon magatabi sila, so you don't, di mo na kailangan mag <laughs> manobra. <laughs> Hi, Faye! <laughs> Faye, are you here? Are you here? Okay. Ah, dito na ako sa loob. Sama mo yung ano? Ayan, so, hello, Faye. Hi, Julia. Ano bang maliwanag to? Parang liwan. Sige, dito na lang tayo. So, ayun. Nakaikot na ako dun sa buong unit. Ang ganda niya. Super, yung price point pa. Super for the price. perfect Correct. for the super house. Super reasonable. Oh, so, okay. So, ako naman magtatanong, ano yung pinakagusto mo? Ah, sa project na to. Everything. Kasi, um, for the price and the size, parang, I na isip ko yung clients na agad mm, for nice. those na ayon na sa condo kasi this one I mean the price was okay siya considering yung mga condos kasi too small na for um, startup family okay. so this is perfect sa startup family na sawa na sa condominiums let's be real yung price nito kung condo Super it's liit, super liit compared sa mga kuha nyo dito. It's just one bedroom. And this is a house and lot na three bedrooms. With so, garden. With a garden in the back. So by the way, I asked pala kanina, yung architect nandito, about the wooden planks, so, similar to the door, tsaka ito nasa likod. 
So, ready-made ano na pala siya, tapos kinaluan na lang sa yun lang kulay and texture. So, that's really, really nice. It's their signature. Ang ganda ng... I don't know how it looks in the camera, but in person, it looks really nice. It's really good. Good. So, okay. So, that's what you love about this house. And I agree. And the only thing that I hate about this is the fact that duplex and shot the two lang yung unit. I wish there was more. I know. Imagine kung mas madami. <laughs> mas gusto yung sana ibenta. Correct. I was actually saying earlier uh, to Faye and uh, the other people around that this is the definitive Filipino home. This should be the Filipino home. Yeah. From the price point and how much it gives. The the features size. walang walang ang tawag doon walang kulang walang kulang everything is there and everything is right kasi wow. it's made well on spot mm -hmm. so again this is where are we Las Piñas Las Piñas so it's a duplex brand new duplex here in Las Piñas and if you guys want to see this for yourself make sure you call our hotline or get in touch with Faye uh, through our website or even our social medias yes so, make sure you visit our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with, with Presello. Pre we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>If you want to see more house tours, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more of our Build Your Owns or BYOs, click here. And if you want to see more of our other content, click right here. Also, if you haven't subscribed, Okay.